Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss the main topic of our rational numbers. It is very important, and that is representation of rational numbers on a number line. So I have drawn here a small part of our scale, zero and one. So in your scale, you have observed that between two large values, there is a line here, a little bit longer line. We call it half centimeter, or we call it zero point five centimeter. What is half actually? Half means we are dividing anything into two equal parts. Then we call it half. Okay. So what is this part? This is one out of two, and this part is also one out of two. So in total, one by two plus one by two. How much we will get? We get the full part. Okay. So what is half? Half means when a single part is divided into exactly two equal parts, we call it half. Hmm? Now, how can you divide this number line into three parts? You have to divide, or you have to represent one third. Of a number line, how can we do it? For that, I will take two points here, one point here, and another point here. Here, look, one, two, and three parts. How many parts are there? First part, second part, and third part. So I have divided this one centimeter into three equal parts. So all of you know how to represent a fraction or a rational number. For that, you have to put the total number of parts in the denominator, isn't it? You have to put the total number of parts in the denominator. Then this part is how much? It is the first part out of three. Here. It is the second part out of three. Last one is the third part out of three. It is nothing but three by three is always one. Okay, so this is how you represent fractions on a number line. One by three, two by three, and three by three. This is exactly how much it is one. Okay, so three parts: first part, second part, and third part. Like this, you can divide a whole into as many parts as you can. Just you have to write whatever. Suppose if you are dividing this into five equal parts, how can you represent each part from zero to one? It can be one by five, two by five, three by five, four by five, and five by five. Is it? So you can divide. As many parts as you can between two numbers. So that is the first part. Then in this chapter, you will be asked to find any numbers, two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, ten numbers between two rational numbers. How can you find it? How will you do it? So suppose you are asked to find from first we do. Three irrational numbers. Three irrational numbers between three by ten and seven by ten. You are asked to find two rational numbers between three by ten and seven by ten. Here you can see that. Both denominators are same, so you don't have to change it. It's very easy. So between three by ten and seven by ten, you have to find three rational numbers. So which are the three rational numbers that you can write here? After three by ten, you can write four by ten, five by ten, six by ten. 
isn't it? So we have written three rational numbers between 3 by 10 and 7 by 10. Okay. So please remember the important point that before finding the rational numbers, you have to make the denominators same. You have to make the denominators of both the numbers same. Then only you have you can write the numbers between them. Okay. Now if you are asked to find three rational numbers between minus 1 by 10 and 3 by 10. Minus 1 by 10 and 3 by 10. Here also from the, in the left side of the 0 you have you can find the negative numbers and on the right side it is the positive number. So here minus 1 by 10 after that 0 then here you can write 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10. This if you want you can write 0 by 10 which is already 0. So 3 numbers we have got here 0 by 10, 1 by 10 and 2 by 10. Okay. All these are easy because here the denominator is the same. Now let us do a number where the denominators are not same a rational number first you have to find a rational number between 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 here you can see the denominators are not same so you have to make the denominators same so there are different methods by which you can make the denominators same one you have already studied it is the LCM method. In LCM method what you have to do? You have to prime factorize numbers like this. Prime factors you know what is a prime number? 2 in 4 2 times into 1 times. Multiply these 3. 2 into 2 into 1. So what is the LCM? It is 4. LCM equal to 4. It means that you have to make the denominators of these two numbers 4. This is already 4, so you don't have to change it. This you have to change. So we will have to change 1 by 2 with the number 4 as the denominator. So how will you change it? By which number you have to multiply 2 to get 4? You have to multiply it by 2. So if you are multiplying denominator by a number, you have to multiply the numerator by the same number. So, 1 by 2 will become 2 by 4. Now you can see that both the numbers have same denominator. We have done the first step. First step we have already completed. The denominators are same. But we are asked to find a single rational number between these two. But there is no number in between because 1 by 4 after 1 by 4, 2 by 4 comes. But there is no number in between them. Then how can we do it? For that, you have to multiply these two numbers, 1 by 4 as well as 2 by 4 by any number you like. For instance, what I am going to do is multiply 1 by 4 by 5. 2 by 4 also by the same number. Now, which are the numbers we get here? So, 1 by 5, you will get 5 by 20. Then, 5 to are 10, 10 by 20. Okay, so we have got 5 by 20 and 10 by 20. Can we find any number between them? Yes, we can. So what are the numbers in between them? They are 6 by 20, 7 by 20, 8 by 20, 9 by 20 and last 10 by 20. But we are asked to find only a number, only one. But you can see here we have found 4 numbers. So what you have to do? First step you have to make the denominators equal of same number that we have done by prime factorizing the given denominators. I have shown you how to do it. After that, we, if we 
check the numbers. We can see there is no number between 1 by 3 and 2 by 4. For that what we have done? We have multiplied the numbers by 5. Okay. So, select the number as per the number you have asked to find. If it is 5 numbers or 10 numbers, then multiplying by 5 is not enough. You have to multiply by some bigger numbers like 10 or 11, anything. Okay. So, I have found 4 rational numbers between 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Hope all of you have understood it. We will do exercise 1.2 in the next video. Till then, 